In this video, we're going to sketch the given angle on the unit circle and then use symmetry to find three more angles with the same sine and cosine up to sine. So let's start with our first angle of 1.8. Notice that the 1.8 doesn't have a degree symbol, so that indicates that 1.8 is measured in radians. And if we recall our definition, theta in radians is defined to be arc length over radius. But we're working with a unit circle, so we have arc length over 1, which simplifies to s. So finding or sketching the angle, uh, the first step would be to locate an arc length of 1.8. So we start at the point 1, 0, and we measure counterclockwise until we get to 1.8. So we have 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, and 1.8 is a little bit before 2. And to sketch the angle, remember an angle has a, an initial side along the positive x-axis, and then its terminal side goes through the point on the unit circle. And we start at the positive x-axis, rotate counterclockwise, and this would be our theta 1, which is 1.8. So theta sub 1 is equal to 1.8. Now in a unit circle we have x is equal to cosine of theta and y is equal to sine of theta. So if we want three more angles with the same sine and cosine up to sine, we need to select other points on the unit circle with the same x and y coordinates. So if we look horizontally across the point that has the same y coordinate would be at 1.3 and then if we look vertically down the point with the same x coordinate would be at 4.4 and we could do the same thing if we go to 1.3 and go straight down we see that the point is at approximately 5. So it looks like uh, theta 1 is 1.8 we found theta 2 is approximately 1.3, theta sub 3 is approximately 4.4, and theta sub 4 is approximately 5. Now let's try part C next. We have a radian measure of 3.7, so again we start at the point 1, 0, measure counterclockwise until we get to 3.7, which is down here in the third quadrant. So to sketch the angle, we draw the terminal ray through 3.7, draw our initial ray along the positive x-axis, and then draw our counterclockwise rotation until we get to the terminal side, and that would be theta sub 1 which is equal to 3.7. We want to come up with three more angles with the same sine and cosine, so we need to make sure that they have either the same or opposite x and y coordinates. So if we go vertically up, we see that we get to about 2.6. If we go horizontally across, we get to about 5.7. And if we go vertically up from there, looks like we end up at about 0 0.6, somewhere between 0 0.5 and 0 0.6. I'm rounding to 0 0.6. So theta sub 2 is approximately 2.6. Theta sub 3 is approximately 5.7. And theta sub 4 is approximately 0 0.6. Six. I'll leave the last two as exercises for you. See if you can sketch 5.2 and 0 0.3 and then come up with three more angles with the same sine and cosine up to sine. 